Hey everybody, just doing a quick video on Nomad 1.66. I had a question and a comment and it didn't come through properly. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I w it was emailed to me, but I couldn't see it any other way. So I'm just going to do like just something real quick. Say you wanted to do a propeller on something and you want to do your rotate symmetry. Well, it's all changed now. Much for the better. So you guys will really like the way it works now. Uh, so say that's the cone, and I know it's not round, but we're just doing something here. Now, the big thing before is that you were never able to sculpt on something, and then use Nomad Sculpt to do its radial symmetry. It just didn't work. It didn't support validated objects. Well, now it does. It just has moved. So, let's go in here, and we'll add a... Yeah, we'll just add a another just regular sphere... And we'll just stretch this thing out in a second. Stretch this out and squeeze it in. And I know that's not a perfect prop, but just work with it here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, though, is we're just going to go ahead and validate it. And I'll just do a quick swipe on it just to do some sculpting on it. All right, so if we validate it at this point, you're never able to do anything. So say we do the flatten brush and... You know, we just do a couple strokes on it. You weren't, you were, you could rotate it and do things with it, but you had to use your, you know, do it manually. You don't anymore, which is super cool. So let's just swap that a little. Now, to ro do all the rotate is in here in the add menu, and it's in this repeaters menu. All right. So first one is radial. And that's that's it. Say you want to change it to six. Six blades. And there it is, six. Now the max is still 32. So say we put 40 in here. It's still only going to do 32. So that's, that's the max, which I'm sure that's probably pretty good for most people. But let's just go back to six. All right. So that's, that's this way. You can swap it to your other direction and your other axes and then here it'll do a twist now say you like that shape is like hey that's kind of cool I want to keep that well you can do that as well because you notice your radial repeater is attached to that sphere now so if you leave those two you know selected or if you unselect them whatever select those two voxel merge them just leave them where they're at now you have that object, and now you want to add a, another repeater, hit radial again, and now you can do it again. Now, you're like, hmm, that's kind of cool, but I want to do a pattern of that. Easy enough. You could grab all of these, and I'm not sure, because I haven't played with this, but let's see. I think well, if we do that, we we'll grab them all, now it's all one thing. You can add a array. And now you can change your count of where you're at. So depending on which direction you go, say we'll do four. Now you have an array going down all of a sudden, which is amazing and super cool. Let's say we do this two. And now it's too thick. And we go... You can change your offsets. I mean, you can do a lot of things with this. It's pretty, pretty cool. And now you have this crazy lattice in here. All right, so that's pretty cool. So all the other repeaters, you have the mirror, which worked like it did before. Your radio, I just showed you the array. The curve's a little different. I haven't really played with that much. So I'll, I'll work with that a little bit and do another video later. Um, and then, as you can see, this you know this whole menu's changed anyway. You have your groups and your cameras you have in here, and then all your lights as well. You can add everything from this menu into your scene. Okay, if these videos were helping you guys out at all, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. All right, thanks.